Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be discussing top 5 of my favorite drugstore foundations. I actually figured that I've never made a top 5 foundation video on my channel ever and that's like the basic. Some of my favorite favorite foundations that I use all the time are drugstore foundations. And these are some of the foundations which you guys have to have to give a try at least once. And trust me, you guys will not be disappointed at all. So yeah, without wasting any more time, let's just begin. So the first foundation that I'm going to talk about is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. From all the foundations that I'm going to be talking about, this is my absolute, absolute favorite, okay? Um, now, once you apply this foundation, it does not move or budge throughout the day. It does not crack. It is medium to full coverage, so you can definitely build it up. Now, this is one of those foundations that does not look too heavy or too cakey on your face. You can wear it every day for office or for college. Um, now, obviously, it depends on the amount of foundation or the product that you're going to be using. But if you use a moderate amount of product, it does not look too heavy and it is so easy to blend this foundation the best part is you can just directly use your beauty blender to apply this foundation and it blends beautifully with the brush as well as with the beauty blender only downside about this foundation is the shade range i checked on nika and they only had like seven shades in this foundation which is very disappointing now i don't really know if uh, you know they have only seven shades in this entire collection or they have more shades but they haven't launched it here yet so uh, i'm guessing they do have a lot more shades than seven shades because you know this foundation is so amazing amazing they definitely have to launch a lot more shades than just seven right in this foundation can actually beat a lot of other high-end brands any day and i do have a lot of foundations i've tried out a lot of high-end brands as well and i'm telling you from experience i reach out for this foundation a lot more than i reach out for my other high-end brands so you know that's how good this foundation is yeah, i've only heard like good things about this foundation from everybody so you definitely have to have to give it a try the price point is slightly expensive uh, but but you know what they say you have to invest in your base if your base is good your entire makeup will look just beautiful i think this would be like a one-time investment but this would be totally worth it and trust me you guys are gonna thank me once you buy this foundation and now my second favorite foundation is the maybelline superstay foundation now they claim that it lasts for up to 24 hours but nobody sleeps with foundation on right but i did that i don't know if you guys have seen that video but i actually slept with this foundation to actually see if it can last for 24 hours or not okay um if you guys have haven't seen that video i'm gonna link it up here you guys can check it out and i was honestly impressed okay like with the finish with how it was looking and without any touch-ups it actually lasted throughout the day this is a full coverage foundation and it can be slightly drying but if you moisturize your face thoroughly i think that problem should be solved personally for me this foundation has never really oxidized and that's what i said in my trial video as well where i was testing this foundation out but i've seen and i've heard a lot of other reviews where people claim that this foundation does oxidize a little bit now i don't really know what to say because on me it has never oxidized so you know it has just been the perfect foundation that you can ask for basically even though it sounds like a very heavy foundation it's actually quite lightweight on your skin these two are my favorite go-to foundations of all time like aag band karke you guys can go for these foundations now moving on to my third favorite foundation which is the pack hd foundation now even this one is a medium to full coverage foundation totally buildable for me i would rather have a medium to full coverage foundation and if i want to get that really nice sheer daytime look i would use it with a little bit of say um, a glow drop or something like that so that you know i can maybe reduce the coverage down a little bit and then at the same time if i want to build it up i can definitely just layer it up right so it's always good to have something in that zone rather than having something which is like completely in the sheer category okay and this foundation is also very very nice like it blends beautifully on the skin it is extremely lightweight and they say it is an hd foundation you actually get that hd kind of an effect on your face it does not feel heavy or cakey it does not crack on your face i have about 19 shades in this foundation to choose from and they're all well divided into different skin categories and stuff which is um a lot better than milani so you have like a wider shade range to choose from and now moving on to the next foundation which is the ellie girl pro coverage foundation now this one is also slightly on the expensive side like i think it retails for about 1200 ish and this is like a full coverage foundation full coverage hd foundation so with this foundation i've always had to go like two layers um for some reason i don't know like with my maybelline foundation and with my uh, milani foundation i think one layer is always enough i do not really layer it up again so this is like slightly more sure than um the other two foundations that i have even though they say that this is like a full coverage foundation you still have to like layer it up to get that uh, kind of a decent coverage and now moving on to the 
the next foundation which is actually quite affordable this is the wet n wild foundation now again the problem is the shade range they don't really have a lot of shades to choose from but this foundation is quite affordable i think it retails for about 5.99 or something and there's always some or the other discount going on now again this is not a full coverage foundation you have to layer it up to get that full coverage kind of a finish but if you look at the price point and lasting and finish i think this foundation is quite decent if you compare wet n wild with the fit me foundation i think i would definitely recommend the fit me foundation because the price point is the same but i still somehow find that the fit me foundation is still a lot better than this one and with that these were all of my favorite top 5 drugstore foundations the link to all these foundations are mentioned in my description box below you guys can check it out and with that it's a wrap for now i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did not forget to give it a big thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and with that i will see you in my next video bye